so we're here again, not again, but we're here. <laughs> okay. Uh, for the fifth time, maybe fourth, because we had some issues with the other videos. <laughs> um, really, it was personal. I didn't like them, so we had to redo them. That's that's literally it. Um, this is why we can't be on camera. But the first time, it did take us forever to set up, but Shit. anyway, we're here. Um, the reason we're doing this video is I don't know if you um, follow us on social media at D3T Productions, uh, Facebook or YouTube or Instagram, whatever. Um, but like a week, a week and a half, I don't know when you're gonna see this video. But um, a little bit ago, we posted, well, she posted <laughs> about um, the unspoken sacrifice. Um, we we actually. What, what was that post about? Yeah, so um, after we made The Unspoken Sacrifice, released it for Father's Day, and um, got a good reaction from it, I just took a day or like an hour and I submitted it to a few film festivals. Most of them are still making decisions, you know, with the pandemic and whatever. Things are just very different this year. But we heard back from one of them and uh, the New York New Filmmakers Festival actually was the first to let us know that we were a semi-finalist for their January 6th program. So that was really exciting. Yeah, uh, really exciting for us as a company because I mean, again, as she said, it's our first time um, and we, we not are nominated and whatever that means, that wasn't necessarily um, really ever our goal or purpose or mission uh, with doing the film, but it's definitely an honor. And I think, um, for me, the coolest part about it is not just as a company we've been nominated, but I feel like it's really right on brand with our company as D3T Productions, period. Um, and what I mean by that is we're able to um, help other people or give other people uh, a platform, a voice, a space, um, where they can be seen, heard, and you know understood, um, and that's really something that we pride ourselves in as a company. With anybody that we um, work with or, or encounter, is to let them know um, that number one, you are important, um, and then you do have a place. There's a place for you, despite um, what somebody has has told you in the past, um, despite maybe your 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 location or what somebody else. Uh, thinks you of your talent level there is still a place for you um so really being that uh stepping stone for the actors and actresses that we um had on our crew for, for this film was to me again that was it, it was really cool um cool for us but for me more importantly cool for them um and, and who knows what this means for them um and that's really for me uh the coolest part of this experience um and I guess moving along right on on target with that rumor has it there's a part two or something like that or nah we decided not to make any more films it was just too much work so or <laughs> no there is a part two um Izzy's Christmas is coming this December 2020 and it's going to tell the story of Izzy who was in the unspoken sacrifice but more so what a holiday looks like through a child's eyes with these more complicated family dynamics. Um, and so that's sort of the perspective we wanted to bring to the holidays. And yeah, we're making another short film. Yeah. Um, so we are right now in the process of uh, rehearsals. We actually just wrapped a rehearsal maybe less than an hour ago um, with Mike and Izzy. Um, they were reading some of their scenes and just kind of digging in. Um, and, and we're in crunch time now. Not to say that, you know, there's anything to be nervous about, but, you know, now it's time to bring it. Um, so that was cool. And then, like, we brought some of the characters back. Uh, we changed out some characters. We added some new characters. Um, and when we first started the rehearsal process, uh, we just kind of, you know, you know did our hellos and everything to everybody who was involved before um and then we shared with them that from the previous uh, installment movie uh, episode I, yeah scenes. we we uh we actually lost a scene um i mean like lost it like we got like eight drives full of files and it wasn't on any of them lost yeah, we, it we had no trace <laughs> of it um and then i was i don't know working on somebody else's project not related and i had for me it was out of sight out of mind i didn't even i i was i had moved on it's been like four months yeah it, it'd been a while um 
and I, I stumbled across <laughs> across the lost scene. Um, so actually, here, check it out. You must be so proud of your daughter. You know, dance takes a lot of dedication. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she gets all her talent from me. I was a dancer when I was in school. <laughs> really? Does yeah. she share all of her routines with you? Do you help her with her practice? Um, her dad takes her to most of her practices, but she calls me on FaceTime while she's there, and I give her all the pointers, you know. Oh. I was basically a dance coach. <laughs> that is so important for kids to be able to share their passion with their parents. Yeah, no. Do you still dance? Um... No, you know, work gets in the way. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Life certainly does get in the way of the things that we love. I, know. I mean, I love knitting. I mean, really love it. And it's just so sad that I don't get as much time with it, but I just love how it just calms my soul and it gives my hands something to. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, look. Look at my baby! <laughs> Let's keep rolling. Uh, <laughs> we'll do it one more time. <laughs> Well, that was a good one. That was a good one. <laughs> I, I hope you enjoyed that little snippet. Um, There'll be more to come of the things Miss Carol loves. Yeah, and, and if that scene makes no sense to you, great. Um, go watch the original or the whole mm -hmm. thing, and it'll make a little more sense. Yeah. Um, and if you have watched it, do it again, and now try Just to figure fun. out where, where that scene goes or where you know where it fits. Um, but that's <laughs> that was a little bit of you know just just the unspoken sacrifice um and actually this coming uh story we're really actually digging into a little bit of that the, the two characters that you saw ashley and miss carol ashley being the mom of izzy and miss carol um as the social worker or caseworker um on on this in in this particular for the family uh, family situation yeah, yeah. um so uh, we're in a pandemic right now and yeah. theaters aren't open and everybody is doing virtual stuff. So um, we're having a live premiere yeah. with the red carpet. Okay, no, that's <laughs> that wasn't on the script, bro. <laughs> that was <laughs> Just kidding. We're actually doing a really cool virtual experience for um, this, not just this short film, but for the entire project and the cast. Um, we're going to be hosting or housing the first short film as well as Izzy's Christmas all in one place for you to watch and enjoy. And there's even going to be some additional special content as well. Yeah, so we'll have... Uh just you know some some footage from us behind the scenes stuff uh we should have probably vlogged or captured this process because it was mm -hmm. quite a i mean we kind of did one was, of the two or yeah. two of the five times it's pretty embarrassing as a production company <laughs> too i don't know if we're going to show you that <laughs> but uh we will show you just some 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 of our takes on the just the whole experience um some locations that we sought out um mm -hmm. prior to you know the, the, us starting the film and then you'll get to hear literally from the uh the actors and actresses themselves mm -hmm. um what their experience was like what their resume reads um mm -hmm. and then just this project how it moved did or didn't move them um where they are able to channel their energy or emotion from if they're pulling from a real source um or if they're just that good you know hey you'll get a, to get to excuse me you'll get to experience all of that um all the tea oh. how much they really loved working with us if they start saying things that are not <laughs> accurate or something that i want on the record You're never gonna see it just like that um but no seriously we're going to i mean create this entire virtual environment for you mm -hmm. um yeah get a viewing party together invite some friends mix some hot cocoa have it on repeat during your christmas party with your family um just enjoy the experience and the holiday vibes it, it'll be a really nice time. or you can just watch it it doesn't have to be all of that no but i mean in light of the holiday i actually think that's a pretty cool idea um get together get your family around the tv i don't know how you guys celebrate but you know turn on around the big the screen uh on the tv that's how people celebrate around the tv at holidays. I... <laughs> <laughs> Who celebrates around the TV? So you put the TV in the middle of the floor and you just... Just put it on the table. I'm a lazy Susan. They just spit it. 
that's a white people thing. We don't do that either. Okay. Because <laughs> we, we don't do that. I, I wasn't sure. But <laughs> anyway, seriously though, uh, get your family together. Get your friends together. Do it. Do a host, host a watch party. Get some popcorn. Um, hopefully you enjoy this film as much as we yeah. have thus far. And again, we haven't even started shooting yet. Um, but just looking forward to it. It's going to be fun. Um, is there anything else that you want to say to the people? Yeah, you definitely want to make sure that you are following us on social media so that you can see updates, quick peeks behind the scene through the filming process you'll know when it gets released in fact you can just add it to your calendar right now um december 11th and then if it doesn't come out on december 11th it'll be a fun surprise and they can <laughs> go to d3tproductions.com and join our mailing list because then they'll get a link and maybe some fun party planning ideas uh, to watch this short film um when it comes closer to coming out and then when it actually premieres um, sometime Maybe it'll be in January. It's hard to say. Real professional. <laughs> We're looking for a target date of the September 11. September 11. Okay, that's not what I meant. Sorry. <laughs> December. It's like your name. September, December, October, November. Whatever. December the 11th. Sometime. Uh, we're going to drop some promo stuff, so be on the lookout for that as well. Um, yeah. Looking forward to it. We hope you enjoy it. Enjoy the festive holiday feelings, and we'll see you from behind you the You know camera. what? Host a ugly sweater party. Yeah, an ugly. And then, uh, and <laughs> actually, take pictures yeah. and tag us, and we'll feature you on our How social do they tag media. Us? What is our social media? At D3T Productions. Because I don't know. I, I, I. Are you going to put it here? I'll put it here. I'm not. Ba-dum. And <laughs> cut. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>